Today, we are once again going to be questioning whether Goodreads users have taste. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. Today we're going to be looking at and reacting to the lowest rated books I've read according to Goodreads. So we did this about a month ago with the highest rated and I'm not gonna lie I kind of agree with the majority of what was highest rated or at the very least I could see why it was so highly rated. I think I gave them all four or five stars. I feel like this is going to be more controversial. A good day. Because I quite often love weird books that other people find a bit strange and don't really love. So I feel like we're going to have a few of them where it's a strange book, everyone else hasn't really vibed with it, but I have because I love the weirdness. Last time we went from the highest rated down, but this time I've shut my eyes, I've covered the screen. <laughs> I've well, shut my eyes mostly and I've counted down 10 books so we're gonna go from 10th lowest rated to the lowest rated book I read according to Goodreads. Leave any predictions you have down below for what books are gonna be on here before we actually look. I really don't know what's gonna be on here. I have like no predictions. I hope we're gonna have some like ones that I actually dislike. Like I hope I'm gonna agree with some of them. But before we actually get into the video, I wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video, which is Skillshare. I have loved Skillshare for so, so long. I've used it on and off probably since I was 14. So like seven years now, fuck, I'm old. <laughs> It is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative people. I'm sure you know what it is, but if you haven't tried it out yet, why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> they have classes on illustration, uh, video editing, photography, social media, marketing, productivity, like every skill you can imagine, they pretty much have it. A lot of you will know that I have been starting my writing journey, <laughs> kind of. So I'm just about to start Storytelling 101, Character, Conflict, Context and Craft by Daniel Jose Older. This class is really supposed to break down what makes a great story so captivating motivating, so riveting. So I'm hoping it will be super helpful for me. It is the perfect place to just develop your creative skills and have fun with it. I really love Skillshare. So the first a thousand of you to click the link down below will get one month free of Skillshare. Not a week, not two weeks, a month. A month free of Skillshare. So I genuinely feel like there's nothing to lose. Go give it a go. Go see if you enjoy it. Okay, let's see what the 10th lowest rated book I have read is His Beauty by Jack Harbin. So this has an average rating of 3.44 with 861 ratings. So not a lot of ratings and not a, not a great overall rating. I have to say I agree with this pretty much. I gave this a two star. So yeah, I agree with it. I was so disappointed with this. I loved Meet Cute Club by Jack Harbin. I think that was like a four star. It's a book that really made me feel like I could enjoy romance. And then I didn't really like this. And I felt bad because I got an e-arc of it as well. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I didn't enjoy the relationship between the Beast and Belle. <laughs> This is not for me. No. It's that kind of like dark romance, I think. I just maybe don't vibe with that. <laughs> I don't vibe with like sem... Well, I can't remember to what extent it was abusive or semi-abusive, the relationship, but I just don't vibe with that. I need my romance to be cute. <laughs> so maybe this just was never for me and it's my fault. Yeah, I just didn't... I hate the beast. It could fuck right off. It could fuck right off, love. It could fuck right off. Oi! He's not meant to be in here. Has he got in here? Get out! Okay, what is number nine? Ooh, okay. The ninth. Oh, this is gonna be a series. Hang on. <laughs> <gasps> no way! Ooh. <gasps> okay. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Ninth lowest rated is The Sanatorium by Sarah Pierce with 3.43 average rating. I got an arc of The Sanatorium. This is actually the first ever physical arc I got, which is so exciting. I give this four stars. I enjoyed it. But I remember my mum hated it. She really disliked it. <laughs> I think she DNF'd it. So maybe I'm an outlier here. So this is about this detective who goes to say at this like isolated Swiss hotel that has been converted from an old sanatorium. There's like people going missing. There's mysterious circumstances. There's death, yada, yada. I enjoyed this. I mean, I'm a ho, I'm a ho, I'm a ho for <laughs> isolated, close circle, murder mystery, thriller, 
kind of things. So it was already like geared towards me. I was already biased, <laughs> but I don't know, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun thriller. I thought it had a really good amount of twists and turns. I will say the ending, oh, I've got a bookmark in here. <gasps> That's where you are. I had lost that bookmark. God has smiled on me. Yes, he has. The ending was like a two star. The ending was not good. So maybe that's why it's got such a low average rating. It's also got 67,826 ratings. A lot of people have read this, but I think it is so low because the ending is bad. <laughs> the ending is objectively bad because it's like super on the nose. Uh, like the kind of villain's speech is the author obviously wanted to make a social point but it hadn't been bled into the rest of the story and it was kind of just like the ending it was plonked on so the ending was bad the ending was like a two star but i enjoyed the rest of it i enjoyed the rest of it so i can understand why this is low rated because of the ending but i i enjoyed it personally and i was just freaking out because it turns out it's gonna be a series we've got the retreat coming out in april 2022 which is another isolated mystery I am fucking hyped. I'm really excited. Anyway, what is number eight? <gasps> no way! I disagree. I disagree. That is incorrect. I am really uncomfortable right now and I'm feeling like I want to get up and leave. Number eight, lowest rated book that I have read with an average rating of 3.42 and 1,956 ratings is You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. This is wrong. This is wrong. No. No, sorry, you're all wrong. No taste. No taste. So this is one, I guess I should have predicted there was going to be some weird books on here that I loved and most people loved. This is weird as fuck, right? This is weird as fuck. But I loved it. Oh my god, what a great book. You're all wrong. Excuse me? <laughs> so this is about Magpie, which first of all, I mean, I know, she's called Magpie. It's a little bit, you know. <laughs> she kind of like has a really shitty life and she dreams up this world called Nier in her notebook where everything is perfect and then Nier appears in her garden shed basically and she can go there and major trigger warnings for sexual assault in this is kind of a lot uh, that comes up throughout the book but I loved this I thought it oh, the anger the anger the anger the anger in this book oh so good the way that it articulated anger from a girl after she's been through like a really shitty traumatic experience and how that anger is validated. I live for it. I am, j I just love it. I love it. So you're all wrong. You're wrong. Like you're wrong, you're wrong. You're wrong. If everybody you else is saying it, then look inside yourself. You must be the problem. 3.42? Guys, no, I loved this. I can't wait to read more Katrina Leno. It was amazing. So you're all just very, very incorrect. Very incorrect. Okay, number seven lowest rated, The Perfect Nanny, or um, it's also called Lullaby in some languages. It's got an average rating of 3.4 and 84,535 ratings. I read this before I had my YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure, yeah. Or had I just started my, no, I think I just started my YouTube channel. I read it for a book club that I was a member of at uni for like three months. <laughs> I gave this three stars, it says on Goodreads, but I think if I was to rate this now, it would be like a two or maybe even lower. I didn't like it. I don't know why the fuck I've given this three stars. I am so <laughs> random, I can't believe I just did that. This is about a nanny. Wait, what What do you even know in the, I was about to spoil the shit out of this book. I can't remember what you know in the synopsis. I'm just going to keep my mouth shut because I can't remember what you know. I swear it opens with that. Oh well, maybe not. And this is about a nanny working for this rich family and it's a thriller and it was just not good. Like it's, oh, no, 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 no. It was boring as fuck. It was so boring. I was just bored shitless. I was bored shitless. <laughs> bored shitless. It's like, oh, I can't even remember well enough to critique this. I read it like two, three years ago. No, two years ago I read it. Okay. Uh, but it's just not memorable and it's bland and it's boring. It's kind of like a character study of this nanny. It's not a high paced thriller. It's very much a character focused thriller and it was just boring as fuck. So yes, I agree that this should be that lowly rated because it just, no. Okay, number six, right? What's the sixth lowest rated? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> Yup, 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 yup. I'm surprised this is only six. 
I thought this would be the lowest rated. With an average rating of 3.38, with almost 5,000 ratings, is Jonas, The Beautiful Dead Book One by Eden Maguire. So here's the situation with this book. If you don't know, I reread this maybe about a year ago because this was my favorite book growing up. I had trash taste for a while. I was very like, I love Twilight, you know, so I read a lot of like paranormal romance when I was a kid. <laughs> Can't imagine, you know. Can't, couldn't be me now. That's not my taste now. But I loved it. I loved it. This whole series was in my library at school and I got everyone to read it. It's basically about <laughs> this girl's boyfriend dies and she finds out there's this group of kids who have died recently in the town. They each are kind of these beautiful dead. So they're kind of like ghosts and they've got a year to figure out how they were killed to get like eternal peace essentially. My love for this is shown by my early career as a book influencer because I got everyone to read this book. It was in year seven, so we were like 11 and we all loved it. And I just wish I had never reread it because I, I could ba look back fondly on this, right? I could look back fondly on this book and this series and think, wow, what a great series that was. No, ma'am, <laughs> it was bad. I will just say that um I, I sabotage a lot of things. Oh. In it, yeah. Okay. I gave this one star when I reread it. It's just like genuinely the worstly written book I've ever read in my life. But something about it must work because why did we all love it when we were 11? So maybe it's just that kind of book that makes you feel like that bitch when you're 11. But now mm -mm. it was just terribly written. It just, the plot made no sense. And it literally sounded like you put some words into like, you told word to come up with a story and it had written it. It was robotic. It was so bad, but I wish I had never read it. I wish I hadn't read it again because I just want to look back on it fondly, but yeah very deserving of being one of the lowest rated. <laughs> I'm getting nervous now, we're in the top five. If there's a book that I gave five stars in the top five, I'll be fuming because it doesn't deserve it. I will, I will kick something over. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Okay, number five. <gasps> really? What? Okay, I'm kind of shocked. Number five is Meet Cute Club by Jack Harbin with an average rating of 3.3 .3 with 2,500 ratings. So like, what the fuck is up with that? What is up with that? That is a cute romance book. Why is that the fifth lowest rated? And why has it got a lower rating than His Beauty? His Beauty I could understand because I was like, okay, it wasn't great. But this was good, I gave it four stars. Oh my God, what? In my opinion, this is a really cute story between these two guys, this really cute love story. Them like getting to know each other and one of them works at the local bookshop. One of them runs like this cute like romance book club and it was just so cute. I don't understand why this is low rated. Maybe, I don't know. Cause I thought the writing in this was good cause that's why I was so disappointed by his beauty. I genuinely can't understand that. I, okay, I think the problem people have with it is it's quite a short book, right? It's like not long. So you don't get a lot of depth in the relationship between them, but I feel like it did a good job of that. But maybe that's why. Maybe it's like a bit shallow for some people, but I really enjoyed it, so I don't understand. So number four, with an average rating of 3.27 with almost a thousand ratings, is The Baby Is Mine by Oyin Can Braithwaite. Now I think I, it says I gave it three stars, I think this was a 2.5. If I was to, I mean I only read it a couple months ago, <laughs> but I feel like, it's probably a two. It's probably a two. Thing is, Owen Can Braithwaite's writing is great, but this was just lacking anything for me. It's about this guy who gets thrown out um, from his girlfriend's house, so he moves in at his uncle's house. His uncle has passed away. And there is his aunt there and another woman and a baby in a crib and they are both claiming that the baby is theirs. So, I, I, no, it, it wasn't good. It's super short and I just feel like it didn't really go anywhere. But Owen and Cam Braithwaite can write, can write. So the writing is good, but the plot and the pacing and just everything else about it wasn't. So I can understand this one. In fact, I probably agree, but it's quite high up. I mean, I've read worse books. Like I've read much worse books than a lot of these. Well, you know. So like even the ones I'm giving two stars, there are worse books. The one that comes to mind is The Gender Game. Can't remember who that's by, but if that's not on here, I'll turn some, like I will turn some tables. I'll do a Jesus and I'll turn some tables. Are we into the top three? I think we are. Okay, what is number three? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So third lowest rated with an average rating of 3.14. We're getting low. 
with 4,000 ratings is If I Disappear by Eliza Jane Brezier. I read this recently and it was so disappointing. <laughs> this is about a woman who um, is obsessed with this true crime podcast and the podcaster goes missing and she travels to the podcaster's like family home to try and get answers out of her parents and shit. And mm -mm. this book is still too fresh for me to discuss in like in my disappointment. My disappointment is too fresh. She's not gonna go there. The ending was simultaneously predictable and unset up, like no setting up for the ending, didn't make sense in the story, but it was like the only ending that made sense. So like, how is that possible? I don't know. Uh, the writing wasn't for me. I just listened to the audiobook like super fast. I did not enjoy it and I'm sad, but I should have known because I knew it hadn't got good reviews and I thought maybe I'll be the outlier like I kind of was with these. I wasn't the outlier. I agreed with everyone. I've got two books in my head, The Gender Game and Rebels the City of Indra by Kendall and Kylie Jenner. Probably the two worst books I've ever read. So if those aren't the top two, we're rioting. What is number two? You're fucking with me. You are fucking with me. I was angry. I was angry. And so we're not gonna have that. Oh. I'm at breaking point. I am fucking fuming! Mega, mega fucking fuming! Not on my watch! No. 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 <laughs> the second lowest rated book, according to Goodreads that I've ever read, Catherine House by Elizabeth Thomas with an average rating of 3.12 with 16,000 ratings. No. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Five stars. Five stars. What? Are you ridiculous? 3.12? I was angry. Here's the thing, Captain House is weird. Maybe I should have expected this, but second lowest rated? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? I loved Captain House. I dream of this book. I think about it all the time. I think, God, what a great book. What a great book. And how I want something like this with its unhingedness, its surrealism, its strangeness. Oh, I'm actually fuming. I'm actually fuming. Because that means I... I, I this book is great, don't listen to anyone else. This book is amazing. If I could rate this five, ten times I would. It came from my favourite shelf. So like, that's all you need to know. I loved it. You were in the house and the house is in the woods. You were in the house and the house is in you. Kill me now. I want to reread this. I'm very upset. I'm very disappointed with you Goodreads reviewers. Excuse me? If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. I just don't know what to tell you. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. If you know, you know. If you don't know, like, I honestly feel bad for you, like- So what is the lowest rated book I've read according to Goodreads? If it's not one of those two I mentioned, I will riot, but that means one of them isn't on here. So, like, how does that work? Anyway. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Correct. <laughs> the lowest rated book I've read according to Goodreads is Rebel City Avenger by Kendall and Kylie Jenner with an average rating of 2.99. Uh, with 1,300 ratings. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> it's about these twins, Lex and Livia. I wish I could burn this from my memory, but I can't. Lex and Livia, one lives in like the super great world and one lives underground and is poor and they're twins and they were separated at birth and it's bad. If you wanna watch my vlog, you can go watch it. I'll leave it linked. It was terrible. It was really terrible. <laughs> I mean, it was ghost written, so you have no excuse because you could have, you have money. You could have hired a great, ghostwriter but you didn't but you didn't because it's bad <laughs> no plot i mean listen the girlies just wanted to cash in on hunger games vibes the ghostwriter had to go with them to like new york fashion week or something and like follow them around with their friends and he got told like base base it off us but like everyone in this book is a villain so how does that work kendall and kylie jenner explain it explain it it deserving i gave it one star obviously deserving of its low lowness it's what she deserves so like, Goodreads, you pulled her at the end, but what the fuck? No. So there we have it. That is the 10 lowest rated books I've read according to Goodreads. Let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. And also let me know what the 10 lowest rated books or some of the lowest rated books you've read are according to Goodreads. I think that'd be super interesting to find out. So let me know that in the comments down below. If you've gotten to the end, comment an I emoji, either the two or the one for this shatter me rip off. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, and make sure you check out the Skillshare link. I'll leave it linked down below. You get one month free, so make sure you check it out. And thank you so much for watching. I love you very much. I hope you had fun with this. I feel a bit emotionally scarred because of Catherine House, but I will see you soon in another video. Okay, <laughs> bye.